Hello and welcome to this new video on All Smart Repair. In this video I'm going to show you how to replace the display glass of an iPhone 13 Pro. You can also use it for the newer models like the 14 Pro or Max version. In the first step we unscrew the two Torx screws that are in the bottom of the phone. Therefore I use my 6-in-1 screwdriver. After we have unscrewed the two Torx screws, we now need to heat up the device. I use a heat plate for that, um, that's set to 100 degrees, just put it there for half a minute. And after that we need to take the suction cup, a scalp, and push the scalp between the display glass and the metal frame. Then we take some isopropanol to loosen the glue. And the combination of the isopropanol and the heat makes the glue very loose. We take the scalp and move it from left to the right very gently. And that's how you easily open the new iPhone models. And after we have opened it, we take a thin plastic chip, put some isopropanol so the glue gets loose and move the chip around the display. So all around I start with one side and after that I will go to the other side. If your display glass is more broken than mine, you need to be very careful to not crack the OLED. That's why you need to take your time, do it gently. You can heat up the device a second time if needed, but in my case that was not needed, so I just pulled the plastic chip around the display and could open the device easily. The device is open from the right to the left. That's for all the new models. And yeah, now you can see the inside of the iPhone 13 Pro. Next up, we now need our magnet map where I will put on all of the screws I will unscrew now. And we now need a tripod screwdriver to unscrew the three tripod screws that are holding down the display connection to the motherboard. All of those three screws have the same length, so you don't need to place them like they are screwed in, just put them all in one place. After we have unscrewed the three tripod screws, we now need it again to unscrew the two tripod screws in the top of the uh, display that is holding down the flex cable connection of the some parts of the face ID. And there we have two normal screws, so we need to change the bit of the screwdriver um, to normal X screwdriver. And after we have unscrewed all of them, you can already see I placed everything perfectly on the magnet map. After that, I need a plastic tweezer. And with a plastic tweezer, we can now unplug the battery from the motherboard. I love those plastic tweezers because you can use them for everything. You can yeah, take something else that is made out of plastic, but please don't use metal tweezer or something. You could easily damage the motherboard. Yeah, and after I have unplugged all the flex cables, we can now put the housing with the mainboard, the battery and the camera to the side and only focus on the display. In the first step we need our tripod screwdriver again to unscrew the three screws. I'll put it now in my 6-in-1 screwdriver again and unscrew them. After the screws are removed, we now need to heat up the display to remove the glue sticker of this flex cable. It's very strongly glued to the back of the display, that's why we need to do this. Uh, you will heat it up and then you will use some isopropanol again to remove it. So when it's heated up, we now take our scalp place it underneath the flex cable, very gently pull, push up the flex cable, use some isopropanol 
and then you can use the plastic chip to softly remove the flex cable from the back of the display. This way you won't damage the flex cable if you work gently and can reuse it after you have replaced the display glass. When the flex cable is loose, I take the scalp again and gently push up the microphone and the other sensors that are left inside of the display. As you can see, I'm um, very gently don't use too much force because I don't want to damage this flex cable. You cannot replace it. It's very bad if you damage it. So now you can see um, I removed it and we can now work on the display glass. Next step, we now need a heat plate again. I will use a heat plate with a vacuum function so the display is sucked to the plate and cannot move when I remove the glass from the OLED. For removing the OLED from the glass, I will use a very thin uh, metal wire. It's called Molyubden and I will yeah put a link underneath the video so you can buy that stuff online. So as you can see the display is fixed to the plate and now I'll gently put the wire between the glass and the frame. In the beginning be very carefully and yeah take your time for that and once you're inside it's very easy to pull the wire through the glass and all it. And the first step I used uh, two thin wire, two thin molyubdene uh, wire. That's why it uh, sometimes, yeah, I needed to do it again. And now you can see the glass is removed from the OLED. Um, I was very lucky here because most of the glue were just sticked to the old glass and now I don't need to remove that many glue um, from the OLED. To remove the glue from the OLED, uh, just take my naked finger and heat up the glue and rub it away. You need to do this, yeah, like 10 to 20 times until the whole glue is removed. It takes some time, so just take your time and remove it gently. So as you can now see, the glue is completely removed. So now you can see that I have the display OLED inside of a, yeah, a mold and this mold is used to perfectly center the new display glass to the OLED. And also you can see that I just have activated a dust lamp and this lamp is used to remove all of the dust and the adhesive residue that is left on the display and we cannot see with our eyes. So this light makes it visible and you can easily remove it. Therefore I use some isopropanol and the new soft tissue. And as you can see, um, the dust is disappearing. There's always some dust left and you now have to yeah, use some microfiber towels and your finger to remove all of it. So after we have removed all of the dust, we take the new ochre glass and remove the protection film of the glue, center the display glass with the centering mold. And with one finger press to the back, we connect the display glass to the OLED that's already enough and after that we have to place the display and the ochre glass in the ochre machine so the ochre machine can press the new display to the OLED. It also uses some heat and have a vacuum function that removes all of the bubbles. 
I know that not everybody got that kind of machine. So you could also use local glue and the new glass to connect the OLED with the glass. And now you can see the machine from the inside. And it's called IK Pro and it got yeah, a free in one function. I put the device inside of the machine, press start and now the machine does it work. The machine yeah, will remove all of the bubbles, heat up the display and connect the glue perfectly to the OLED. So when the device is finished, the display should look perfect. And the cool thing about the newer models, you can do it with the frame connected to yeah, the OLED. You don't have to remove the, the frame from the OLED. And as you can see, the result is perfect. Um, I had some uh, bubbles left, so I needed to put uh, the display back into the machine uh, two or three times, but then it was perfect and we can now uh, replace the display to the phone. First step, yeah, surely is to reinstall the flex cable for the face ID and the microphone. Therefore, I take a plastic tweezer again and screw back all of the tripod screws into yeah, the holes. So now we have successfully replaced the glass of the display and yeah repaired the display glass of a broken iPhone 13 Pro as you can see the device turns on and the display is just working perfectly fine as it should when everything is working perfectly fine we just reinstall the display and screw back all of the left screws I hope you liked the video and give it a thumbs up and leave an abo and for the rest of the day, I wish you a nice day. See you in the next video.